uh, just a, a little bit of info about this particular machine. It is sort of like a tractor in the sense that it has a box plate on the back, but it's really on what you might call a uh, like a backhoe frame. So you would see this machine with the bucket on the front, the loader bucket on the front, but normally it's got a backhoe on the back. This machine, instead of the backhoe digging arm, the excavator arm, this machine has a, a box blade. And it's really made for landscaping, uh, finishing around really, really large like apartment complex sites or large commercial buildings where you want to really smooth a lot of land. And you have to do it to a specific grade that the engineer has specified. And so we love this machine because it's heavy, right? So it's about 12,500 pounds. I want people to learn about the box plate, but I'm also gonna kinda include a lot of different information for you guys. The reason we like this more than a skid steer is number one, because of the weight. Anytime you're putting in material, see here, we just started putting in some of this road base. You wanna compact it as you're working it. And if you've got a skid steer that only weighs 7,000 pounds, I mean, they're just now starting to make skid steers that weigh over 10,000 pounds, but most guys don't use them because they can't pull them around with their pickup truck. So if you see a contractor coming with a skid steer to make a driveway, uh, you want to be a little bit concerned because the skid steer is not going to compact the material and really crunch the puzzle pieces of that fractured gravel together. So why don't you take a close look at what we're doing here. This is a road base. And you see there's a lot of dust or fines. Not only is, are there these fines that lock these larger rocks in, but this has a chemical binder in it. And that chemical binder almost makes this material look a little wet when you first lay it down. You can see some kind of wet looking spots in it because it's still drying. But what happens is it congeals that. So if you're trying to lay this down with a skid steer and you're dropping the material down, you're actually loosening it up even more as you're dropping it. While we're spreading it, the box blade is compacting it. And then the heavy machine is going back and forth over it. And it makes a really hard, this is as hard as concrete. If you're using a skid steer, it's self-defeating in a way because you're spreading the material as you shake your bucket. It's not heavy enough to compact it and get that binder and these rocks and these fines to really pack together. So uh, that's just a real high general overview about why we use this machine versus a skid steer. I want you to think about this as like a dozer blade, a four-way bulldozer blade. So Todd's in the machine, he runs this machine all the time. Todd, will you show us how this will tip back and forth? What's great about it is when you're working a slope, you may want your driveway to slope, or you may want it to crown to get the water to shed off because that's what ruins driveways, especially where we're at up here in Colorado. You can see this is a short driveway, but you do have a pretty serious grade going up. And so we want the water to shed off of one side or the other or both. If you're in a fixed blade machine, that's very difficult to do. So this machine, as we're going, we can get the grade that we want. Now you have a blade on the back, if Todd were to back up and have this blade down, you can see how it would peel material up. Todd, will you pivot the blade? Yeah, that's good. So you can see how if he were to back up right now, it would take out an enormous amount of material. So it's almost like a mini bulldozer in that sense. We can really dig in and move material out of the way. And we were able to get up on this hill drop that blade and back up and dig that material out. And what we did is we moved it down this portion of the driveway. Because on a snowy, icy day, you're trying to come down the driveway, you got a little speed coming down the hill, and you're turning and your car keeps going straight. So we were able to steal from here and put over there very easily with this heavy machine. This blade on the back has a sister. She lives on the inside of the blade. You see there's another blade identical to this blade on the back. And this inside blade is the one we probably use the most. So if you look at the way the blade is shaped now, it's digging in. You can back up to it and grab it with the box blade and move all that material. It will take all of that material. We can just take it with us. And because this blade is straight on the bottom, and you're going over something that has a lot of holes or bumps in it, if this blade is loaded up with material, it's only gonna put it in the potholes or where you might have some low spots. And so what happens is after you make a couple of passes with the box blade, you will have a perfect 
road with no undulations at all because the blade will have compensated and fixed all of that. And then you turn around and you drive over it with these big pneumatic tires and it's gonna pack that binder in. So this box blade, again, articulates left, right. It pivots up, down. So if we just want to spread material, the front blade is off of the ground, but the back blade is resting on the ground. So if we drive forward, back blade doesn't cut in anymore. It's, it's almost like a spreader blade. And so it will spread and compact the material as we drive forward. You can pivot this back up and back up with that front blade down and it'll do the same thing. You'll spread material without digging it up. It'll spread it real nice. The exceptional thing about this is if you already have a driveway, the cool part about this blade is when we bring the new material, we can recycle the old stuff in. It'll dig down and grab that old material, regrade your subgrade. We like to shape the subgrade. And again, you can do that with this machine. You can do it on your driveway if you have a, a decent sized tractor with a box blade, but you'll want to fix what's under it first. It makes your driveway last, you know, eight to 10 years instead of two years. If you're sick of having to bring in more gravel every two years for your driveway, you need to call us because we'll do it right. That's it on the box blade. If you guys have any questions or anything, give us a call. Uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, go ahead and comment below. Let us know if this video was helpful for you. We love it. It's absolutely the best way to spread material for the long term. Thanks, have a good day. Like and subscribe.